face backwards so that it's not shining in everyone's face through here. So open it. It's Lee here from Boother Tools and today we're gonna do a review on the Godox MS300. I've used this on a few photo booths now and I think it's just compact and operationable uh, and great enough to use in your photo booth build. Let's get into it. Okay, so the camera has the PC sync cord hot shoe mount and the PC sync cord runs all the way to the flash. Okay, first things first, this thing comes with a behemoth of a power cord. Uh, honestly, it's too much power cord for our photo booth, so we just put a regular power cord into the booth, and uh, we'll save this one and plug it into uh, for some speakers or something. Let's just see how long this cord actually is that comes with it. It's 12 feet long. This cord is 12 feet long, so it's a big boy. And the end's like that. And I just replaced it with uh, the power cord that just had the same thing. It was a thinner gauge and it works just fine. Okay, so here's the light and it comes with this nice little cover on it for transport that you just have to click the little button there. So click with our finger and then it twists right off. And then you see inside you've got, uh, you've got your flash tube on there, uh, which I've never actually had a flash tube uh, burn out. And I've had some going for photo booths that go out uh, every popular weekend for about four years. So tubes last a long time generally. And then we've got a bulb here. So standard bulb, it's a JDD uh, E26. I have thrown standard bulbs into these things before and they work. So essentially this kind of bulb is actually just uh, a halogen with a cover over it. So sometimes these covers fall off and the halogen inside uh, will still be operational. So that may happen. We'll give it a quick plug in, see if it works. So just take that guy plug it in there and turn it on Bam. okay so the leds powered back there now let's just turn on the beauty light there okay works on low we'll click it again works on high click it again turns it off so three settings and then we'll test the flash there turn the sound off now it won't make sounds when we click. And then let's test the flash with this button. Perfect. This turns the flash up. And this one turns the flash down. Off. Oh, see it's blinking to show that it's off. Turn it up a little bit. Shows that it's on and ready. Perfect. Can hear a little fan running in here to keep the uh, the light cool. Okay, so there's just a little cone here and it's got the umbrella thing there. So we'll just punch that out with our fingers. Easy. Came off nice and clean. And the cone just literally just clamps on here. Perfect. Except we don't have it lined up with the uh, umbrella thing. Okay, so the cone comes off just with this, the same way that the other thing came off, twist and out. To put it back on, just put it on like that and turn. And then we're good. Okay, so let's put it on top of the photo booth and see how it functions. So I've got one of my uh, boomerang photo booths here. So put that up like this. And then we'll just loosen this part and stick it facing backwards on top of the unit, just like that. Easy. 
And then you see on the bottom how there's this. You just insert it in. Now, we want the light to face backwards so that it's not shining in everyone's face. So there's two little plugs here, one for the power and one to tell the flash when to flash. So we're just going to plug in the power to the power. And you can see, oh, the power's on, that's good news. And then this is the sync cord. We just plug the sync cord in, which is great. Grab our umbrella and we're just gonna open it up and put it right through here. So open it. And it may need a little bit of force to go through, so uh, don't be shy. and your booth is all set up. So all we have to do is click launch event and look at that, it's all ready for your event. All you have to do is push the screen. Let's try a few photos. Okay, so now you see it did four photos, so we're just gonna click to text message the photos to ourselves. Easy as that, then it will send to your guest photos if they put their phone numbers in. Here's your photo. And there we have it. If you like this video, uh, check out the links in the description because we sell the photo booths, the full photo booths, uh, like the shells. Uh, we sell blueprints to build the photo booths. We sell lots of stuff on our booth or tool store. Thanks for watching uh, and check out some other videos because we've got lots of photo booth knowledge for you. Booth or tools out.